All right, so we're on week one, day three, homework 1-6. For each table, which is this, find the unit price, then complete the table. At Best Buy Fruits, nine boxes of strawberries cost $36. What is the unit price for each, for one box? So that would be the same as counting by nines to get to 36. 9, 18, 27, 36. And again, I've told this is the nines trick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. Also, just an interesting fact. Um, any number that is divisible by 9, if you add it up, has to be, you add all the sum of the digits, and it should be divisible by 9. So 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 goes into it, 3 plus 6 is 9, and if I put a 1 in front of here, you know 145 doesn't go, 9 doesn't go into 145 because it doesn't add up to 9. So, um... Anyway, that's just another interesting fact. So 9 goes into 36 four times. So each box cost $4. So one box would be $4. So that means everything's going this way. And we talked about this. This times 4 and anything going that way is divided by 4. So 5 times 4 is 20. 28... goes into 4, hmm, I don't think that's supposed to be there, oh wait, hold on a second, um, 9 boxes of strawberries cost $36, what is the unit price for one box, oh, so 4, how many times, what number goes, 28 divided by 4 is 7. 32 divided by 4 is 8. And 100 times 4 is 400. Sorry, I had a brain for it there for a second. I was looking at counting by 9s. Um, so, 1, 2, 3, 4 is how we came up with this number. And then we would have counted by fours to get the rest of those. Sorry. At Yummy Fruits, six boxes of strawberries cost $42. What is the unit price for one box? So to figure out the unit price, we can count by sixes. Six, 12, 24. And this is the one we were talking about. 30. Or sorry. I skipped the 18. Six. 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Okay, that's if we're counting by sixes. So how many does each one cost? One, so if there's 42, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So each one costs $7. So now that means we're going to multiply by 7 or divide by 7, depending on which way we're going. And now skip counting by 7s would probably be the best bet for these answers. 7, 14, 21, 28, 30... Boy, it's crazy thinking about how your brain works sometimes. 42, 49, 56, and 63, 70. Okay, so one box is 7. 10 boxes would be 70 because we're multiplying by 7. Remember to put that equation up at the top so it helps you. Now if we have to go 21 to 7, 
is 3. 63 divided by 7 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 14 divided by 7 is 1, 2. For exercises 1 and 2, what assumption do you make for these to be co a constant rate situations? Well, in all of these, we're assuming that the fact that they paid $36 for 9 boxes wasn't because they were getting a deal or wasn't because one bo box was big and one box was small. So, boxes were the same. the same cost and that didn't change. Is your assumption reasonable? Yes. At the store they charge things per container all the time. Stores charge per container all the time. Not always. I'm just going to say lots because I wouldn't say all the time, most some of the time. Describe a situation where the strawberries at Yummy Fruits might be a better deal. So even though these are $7, um, if these were twice as big, if you got twice as many strawberries, it would be a better deal. So it might be better than the buy at strawberries. So if the boxes, oops, or seven dollars were twice as big I'm gonna say two times as big it would be a better deal I'm not gonna lie this one I had to really think about because I sat there and thought well what do you mean? I think you're getting ripped off. And then I thought, oh, if the size of the $7 box is bigger, maybe you are getting a better deal. And I've actually seen that at the store a lot. So, next. The graph shows three lines you graphed in this lesson. I guess I don't know where they're coming up with that. Each shows the cost for a different type of granola. Okay. Describe where the line for the cost of strawberries at Best Buy Fruits and the line for the cost of strawberries at Yummy Fruits would go on the graph. Well, obviously, this is number of... So, over here, it's... Um, how many dollars and how many pounds. So, I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Let me check. I'm just going to check what I did with the answer key because I'm not going to lie. I remember this one being a little tricky because oh yeah so it's just if this um, one right here represents the bottom part represents sorry my paper is slipping bottom number represents that doesn't mean hashtag it means number in this case represents boxes bought so we're looking at the graph up here the number of boxes and the side and the side would represent cost. 
There we go. Make sure you get this down. We will be talking about this page right here in our Zoom lesson. So I'm going to write Zoom.